So here's to being goofy and different and super capable because I can keep this car running for the last 60,000 miles in this kind of weather. So I'm super capable and maybe cheap too. So I like to run it all the time because I love it and it's a challenge and it's an adventure. So try to get out of here. <laughs> yes, classic cars dripping into the future and all the time and everywhere. Thumbs up. Yeah, we could go for a cold start. I just did one pump on the pedal. Let's see what happens with my thermal quad. I didn't touch it again. Fixed that all myself, did the capacitors, and I fixed the reverb in the back trunk. I'm a master of disaster. <laughs> and a geek, a nerd, and a dork. But you know what? Live with it, hey? some uh, random shit. Shugu. Shugu. Works really well. Good stuff. Actual practicals. Let's see. And then variable speed. Go for high speed. Doesn't really change that much. Low speed. Fantastic. We'll turn it off now. I'm making all this crap work again, slowly. And look at that, I painted that. Doesn't look bitching. <laughs> I'll get to that someday. But I got individual uh, on off for the fan and for the AC compressor. Uh, something came off there, but yep. Yeehaw, it's what you call a sideways day when you can look out the window like that and be going straight and you can look out this window like that and be going straight and uh it's and it's on purpose yeehaw wide open country just driving enjoying my damn self It's um, 20, no, it's like 30 degrees here. It's not that cold. So she ain't running too strong, and I just want to check the heat riser, see if it's kind of stuck closed or something. Yeah, it is. That should be at the peg. So I got to get that more free. It's just not working quite right. So I'll put a, put a heat glove on, on the left hand here. Come down here and kick it open. That's loose. It's loose enough. It needs to stay there though when it's open. I gotta work on that spring somehow. Huh. Okay. Whatever. You know, I've been thinking. Uncle Tony likes to fix them. I like to drive them. Just a day in the life of a car net. So if it's snowing and blizzardy and crap and you can't find a dry space, go into a car parking lot, do this stuff. So we're gonna just try that in place of this and see if that balance is bad and if I like this wheel and the, the wheel fits on that cone and everything. So here we go. 
I don't quite know why, but I've been having a hell of a time balancing stuff because I had to hog out that. And then maybe that sets it off when they balance it, but I balance it at home with the bubble level and stuff. So if you got really smooth spinning uh, wheel, you can watch how this slows down. And if it comes back at all, and I think it's heavy where the weight is, so watch. It tries to go back just a little bit. A little quicker. It seems to slow down. It's hard to say. We'll see. Still going, but yeah, it tries to go backwards a little bit. If it were a better bearings, it would. So see how fast it slows down. Does it? Yeah, it slows down. Yeah, it doesn't try to come backwards. It does a little bit. So it's really hard to tell. See what happens here. It tries to come backwards a little bit, but it might always try to come backwards. A little harder, almost came backwards. Let's see what happens when we get this to the top. Yeah, it seemed like it wanted to come backwards, but it may be just how the whole thing works. Well, uh, yeah, it tried to come backwards, so maybe I'm not right. Yeah, yeah, doesn't seem like it's, it's working for me here. No matter where that weight is, it does try to come back just a little bit. So, disregard place to keep my jacks from Hobo Freight. Got one underneath there, and this one, they fit in this, you close it up, it doesn't bounce around, and you're quick access. Yep, if you're a driver, come up with crap like that. Thumbs up. Son of a bitch. It appears that those holes are a little too close. That was supposed to be four and a half. Five on four and a half. That's what a Chrysler Chisler is. Five on four and a half. It's also Ford at that era. Chevy's five on 4.75 inches. I cannot get it on there yet. Let me try a little bit more. Can you see? Those are lined up. Looking straight at it. The two on the top are pretty close. The one on the bottom, I'm straight at it. It's nowhere near. It looks like five on four. Damn it, Summit. I waited for this wheel to show up. I could have checked it before I put the tire on, but let me check the box. That's really effing annoying. Back at the old wheel. This is what it takes to drive classic cars into the future. Well, that was pretty cool. Um, but it's time to go home and pack it. Come on, baby. Oh, we're stuck. Time to pack it in. Um, yeah, it's rain, snowing pretty hard in this Reno zone. So um, thumbs up for driving classic cars into the future and having fun. You're welcome.